Hey y'all, welcome. I'm back today with a vlog and we're headed to the container store because first of all, I've never been there and second of all, I um, have been wanting to do a bit more organizing in the house. I'm specifically trying to organize underneath our bathroom sinks. In there I have like skincare, hair stuff, body stuff, it's all mixed up along with my hair tools. So I wanna see if I can find anything to organize that. And I also wanna find a better way to organize my makeup and just a few things in the house to be honest. We have a little hallway closet too that stores, it can be like a coat closet, but it also stores like our vacuum. We don't use it for coats, we use it for our vacuum and we use it for um, our mop. I have some filming equipment in there. It's just a big mix up everywhere. I find that I do this whenever we move. I find that I just kind of put things where they need to go but I don't fully, fully organize ever because by the time I, I do or want to, it's like time to move again. So uh, we still don't know if we're gonna renew the lease here or if we're gonna move to that bigger unit or if we're gonna go somewhere else. I have no idea uh, but but right now, I mean, it's it's never too late to organize. So that's kind of where I'm headed right now. It's a really beautiful, rainy day. It's rainy, but the sun is kind of shining and it's kind of cold. I don't know. I really like the weather today. It's a little, it's a nice switch up for sure. Cause yesterday and the day before that was like super, super hot. different organizers here um, even like acrylic they have a bunch um, so far though I've only found this is for Darius's bathroom for the guest bathroom to hang towels and stuff and then I found a lot of these wooden containers that I can use for organizing the bathroom sinks because those are like kind of all over the place. Um, so I have quite a few different sizes. Like I have smaller ones. I have these. Um, and actually right now I'm right here. I just saw this too. I'm looking for somewhere to put my hair tools. So they have like a few right here too. Which I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know which one because I'm putting them in the drawer, so maybe. Mm. Mm. Maybe I can put them under the sink in this thing. This could be for my makeup though, because I do need to find a better way to store my makeup. It's, really okay. it's a little bit harder. And I thought Darius needs some of these in that guest bathroom too for his Q-tips and stuff. I don't know if I want to do those or get some bigger ones. This one is kind of nice, like this kind of, but they only have one. Or this one's cute. They don't have different sizes. I don't. Or, yeah, they do. They do, they do. These are the infamous shoe drawers that a lot of people use for makeup organizing, but I don't know. I don't have a lot of space to organize my makeup, so I'm kind of like, should I get some of these? First, I need to figure out how I'm going to do it before I stack up on these, but they even have some big ones too. I don't know. Maybe I'll come back. Oh, I can't breathe. It is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, um, it's raining again. But I ended up finding some really bomb shoes. I found two pairs of shoes and a shirt. It's just like a, a shirt, but found some boots from Zara that I'm gonna show you guys and then some heels. I went to Bloomingdale's. I found some heels, they're bomb too. Uh, I think my the boots I got too were on sale, which I I thought the boots themselves were like 80. But she was like, oh your total, I got the boots and the shirt and she's like, oh the total is 89 something. I was like, what? Hold on, I'm struggling right now. Oops, 
starving also. I was tempted to stop by and get myself a little pastry from Starbucks, but I got myself a here. They were. The boots were freaking on sale for $49.99. They originally were like 90 bucks. I did not expect that. Let me check the I don't want to check the tag. Yeah, I'm pretty sure online I saw them for like $89 because I originally saw them online. But they had them in the store too. So I should have gotten a pastry because the drive home is about to take me. Maybe I'll stop by somewhere. The drive home is going to take me an hour. I knew I should have came earlier. So I'm gonna bump some music, <laughs> maybe stop by. I haven't ate, so we're having pasta tonight. I'm making spaghetti, but I don't know if I wanna wait that long. But this thing really says an hour. While I was inside the container store, I was a little bit overwhelmed because they have a lot of different storage things, which is good because you can find a storage bin for just about anything that you're trying to store or like organize. But the bad thing is that I wish I could visualize exactly what it is that I do need to organize because I was in there and I'm like, oh, I could use this for this or for that, or for this or for that. But I can't visually see, I almost wish I could bring all my stuff with me and just put it, put it in the bins because it's kind of hard to see like what fits, what doesn't. But it's fine. I think right now the stuff that I got, I'll mainly, oh, why does it look like that? Hold on. There you go, that looks better. So the things I got today, I'll use that and focus on the bathroom. There's one thing that I did find that would be perfect for underneath the sink. It had three different drawers. And then the last drawer, last drawer I could put my curling irons, my straighteners, and then on the second one I can put my, maybe like hair brushes and then on the top one maybe my hair products or skincare or something but they didn't have it in stock so I think I'm just gonna go home and order it before I forget that way I can have it there are a few different ways that's the thing too there's a few different ways that I could organize my um underneath the sink and just stuff in general but I don't know exactly how it would work best once I move things around and you guys are able to see by what I told you guys how long it's going to take me to get home. The container store is not nearby so it would take me it would take me a minute to come out here if I needed to exchange and return or get more things so that's a bummer but maybe online shopping would be best when it comes to buying stuff from the container store. This puffer, I featured it in a, one of my hauls. I got it from Forever 21 and it's so nice. It keeps me warm. And obviously with the rain, it's perfect, but it, it keeps me a little too warm. I kind of talked about this in our last podcast episode, but um, somebody hit my car. It was a hit and run. Somebody hit my car while we were driving. Everybody's okay, thank God. But yeah, my, my car, like the back of the truck is crashed. So tomorrow I have to go take it to the shop and I'm gonna get a rental, which I'm not looking forward to because I have no idea what they're gonna give me. Um, <laughs> and I'm so used to like my truck. The other day too, Darius and I switched cars. I drove the smaller car and then he drove this one. And I felt so strange being in that car. I don't know because I felt like I was so low to the ground. I felt like I was tiny and I think to myself, would I be able to go back to like a smaller car now that I have an SUV? And most people say like once you get an SUV, you're not going to want to go back and I feel like it's so true. And I didn't realize it because I get in other people's cars. Not really actually though because I haven't really gotten in other people's cars and like my parents, they have a truck. so. It was weird being in the car. Hopefully it's not there too long though because it's like a minor, it's more of like a, not a ding, but they sideswiped my car. So hopefully it doesn't have to be in the shop for like too, too long. 
and maybe it'll be like an easy fix, you know. Okay, I just made it back home and I'm gonna do a quick haul of what I got. I have some Amazon stuff here too that just came in. I was looking for a new spa headband. And I ran across this one that has a headband and it has the wristbands for when the water is dripping down your arms, which I love because when it comes in this pouch. So yeah, it's this spa headband for when I'm doing my at-home facials or when I'm doing my skincare and my hair is down. <laughs> I look funny. But I'll just put this on when my hair is down just so it's not in the way. And then I don't like when I'm washing my face and the water starts to drip, drip, drip. So these right here you can put on your wrists while you're washing your face. And then wash your face and this will catch all of the water. So this is kind of like life hack it's so key I've like lint everywhere now i'm gonna do the shoes first these are some heels it comes with a little bag i was looking at the bottega ones but i don't like how squared they are i just don't like that look on me so i found these that are still square but like still narrow super nice i tried them on in store and i was just like yes I love them. They had them in black too. Maybe I'll get the black ones too because I don't have a lot of like strappy heels like this. So you can see the bottom is is narrow and it's square, but it's not square like wide. And they're nude, simple, comfortable. Usually when the heel is arched right here, that's how I know it's comfortable. When it's just like straight down, usually those heels are the most uncomfortable. But they're not too high. They're like the prettiest, simple, sexy, strappy heel. Again, they had them in black. I might, I don't know. I'm kind of considering getting the black ones too because they're super just universal and I feel like I can wear them with a lot of different outfits. And once they're on, they just look even better. They're just so nice. So, so I was like that. And they run pretty true to size. I got a size eight and a half. Usually I'm like eight and a half or nine in heels. I tried the nine, but with these, it's better if they fit you snug because the, the nine, there was a lot of space back here. It did fit me here, but it was loose here and it just felt like my, my foot was gonna slip out. And the eight and a half is like perfect. It feels like it's super secure. So got these ones and I cannot wait, wait to wear them maybe for like a dinner date or something. They're just so, I love them. They look a lot better on too. So those are the shoes that I got, well, one of the pairs. And then I also got some boots from Zara. These are the ones that I was saying I saw online that I have been eyeing. And I wanted, I was hoping to find them in store. And luckily I did because I wanted to try them on. And they are these boots, these combat boots. They're so nice. They did have some, well, I just realized the, the heater was on. They did have some that were more like rain boot style. They were like a light cream color. They didn't have laces, they were just slip on, but I didn't love the way those looked. And these were the ones that I was like, yes, these look so nice. Um, and they're really heavy duty. I have a black pair of these, well, not from Zara, from, I got them from DSW, but they're from Steve Madden, I think it is, or something. Um, but those are really nice. And I never thought I'd be into like the combat boot trend, but I tried the black ones and I like them. so. Um, I wanted to get some brown ones for when I do wear like an all black outfit, like what I'm wearing <laughs> right now. The boots will kind of stand out a little bit and I'm not wearing like completely all black. So I freaking love these. They were originally $89.90, but they were on sale for like $49, which I didn't even know. And at Zara, I also found this top. It's like a button up, but I wouldn't wear it completely buttoned up like it is. It's like this nude tone thin sheer button up i got it in a small because i'm hoping that it doesn't really shrink much hopefully but this one i'm planning on wearing it 
also maybe for like a night not a night out but for like a dinner date that's our night out now nowadays but just unbuttoned kind of like a low v a low v top tucked in right here with some high-waisted jeans and then maybe those nude heels some hoop earrings and i loved the back the back is open and then it has a knot right there i love it's like a small detail and it's really sheer so you can wear like a nude bra underneath if you want like extra support or you can wear it braless and just wear like uh what do you call pasties so that's what i got from there and then let's do i have another no this is stuff i need for a video but from the container store I kind of showed you guys what was in my basket already, but I'll just kind of quickly go through it. The water's boiling for the pasta already. But I got this for our guest bathroom slash Darius's bathroom. I ended up getting this one for Q-tips for his bathroom slash the guest bathroom. So I was thinking of getting a trio, like three different ones, but I don't think that bathroom needs it because for me in the bathroom in our, uh, what do you call it? master bedroom bathroom i have a q-tips cotton rounds or cotton yeah little cotton rounds and then i have bar soaps but i don't think hmm, he could probably use one of the bar soap ones maybe i'll look for another one but they didn't have other sizes i don't think in this exact one but i got this for q-tips for the guest bathroom and the storage trays these i'll um show you guys i'm gonna put them in there and i'll show you like a real quick clip of how they look in there like right after i show you this but i ended up getting a few of the different sizes just so i can organize it for my food bins i have plastic food bins and i realized i don't have anything to write the expiration date when i pour the stuff in there so like for the protein powder or for chocolate chips or whatever i on the back i can use these are erasable labels that i can put on the back of the containers and i can just write the expiration date when i fill them up that way i'm not kind of like left wondering like when do these expire you know so um i'm sure there's like probably a way to do and maybe cut out like the expiration date from the packaging and just tape it on the back i probably could have just done that but I found these there. These, um, you can use this as a permanent marker. And then the eraser that it comes with erases the permanent marker when you need to. So I'll try them. Yeah, like I was telling you guys in the car, I didn't find a whole, whole lot because it's hard to really envision what I need. But I did find these that I want to use for my skincare. And once I figure out how I'm going to set up my makeup, because I do want to switch that up. I don't have a lot of space for it though but once i figured that out i'm gonna go ahead and use another one of these or maybe go back in store and get did this break oh no and get more so i can use one for my setting sprays for my foundations maybe maybe i'm gonna get a drawer for my foundations but this is like huge you can see it's bigger than my head and it's divided into four you can remove some of these too so see so now you can see it's divided into one big one two three and it's a lazy susan so it twists we have one of these as well in our spice cabinet it doesn't have spices in it that's what i forgot to get a spice rack oh well but you could also use this for spices we have what do we have in our oh our vitamins our vitamins are all around and then we just kind of turn it around whenever we need certain ones so that's everything i uh got really
real life. This is how the bathroom looks right now. I haven't put literally anything away. I, I just haven't. So I have my container store stuff here. So in this drawer, I don't have a whole, whole lot. But I did want to separate what I do have. So I have my eyebrow brush, makeup wipes, razors. So there's not much here. But where I do have a lot is under here. Most of the products I have under here are the ones that I use all the time for the most part. And then everything else I have up in here. I have like little drawers in there. So here I want to maximize the space by putting all of my products on one side. So I want to try to find maybe a stacking shelf or something that'll work here. And then on this side is where I want to put the drawer. So it's like a three drawer that has a really large tray on the bottom. It has a medium size and then a smaller one. And it should take up about like this much of the space. And this use for my hair straighteners and for anything else that I want to add in there. Just so it's a lot more organized because right now I just have all my hair stuff on this side. And then I have my skincare mixed with body care in the middle. And body care stuff. It's just random. So I need to really organize that part. This really needs organizing as well. So this is where I have my pads, tampons, like random skincare, my deodorant my hair tools it's literally just all mixed up and then here is the part that's like kind of organized but it's a mess still this is all of my hair stuff my brushes my spa headbands and just a big mix up of everything so my main thing is organizing this today with what i got and organizing this perfect it is perfect oh my god perfect i was like i'm scared i measure it wrong but it fits perfect there's a little bit of space i could have maybe gotten one of the slim ones um, oh no it doesn't fit no so that works just fine and maybe i'll put little sticky things under so that it doesn't move back just so it kind of stays in place Perfecto. And then we got toothpaste. This toothpaste, I don't like it, but it is what it is. So I wanted one for toothpaste here. This one can be for makeup wipes. Razors can go in this little one. Right in there. And then these. This is my, this is my toothbrush, by the way. And then these little brushes, I wish I had a spot for them. See, I could scoop this back and put the brushes just here. This makes me excited because I can already see. It's gonna look way freaking better. Why did this just this drawer just re-inspire my entire life? <laughs> yes. Looks way better. I mean, everything has its own little spot. It's not everywhere. Um, only thing, I don't know where I'm going to put my shower cap. Maybe I'll put this stuff over here maybe. Maybe like here or something since I do my masks and use my spa headband. So maybe I can put them over there i think that works better than trying to shove it somewhere in here or i can even scoop this back move my scissors 
scoot it back and I can put them right here too. That might work. I don't know. I'll figure. I'll figure that out. But so far so good. Now for this. There it is, looks a little bit better than how it looked before. Now I just have this side, need some things here. And then this side, oh, I have more hair tools over here and some of Darius' stuff. So yeah, I still need to work on this side and this side and after that, it'll be pretty much organized. For tonight, um, for what I was able to find, I think we did a pretty good job. Wish me luck on finding more and more things to organize this place. If you have anything that you use specifically for like the under the sink stuff, let me know. Cause the other things I think are pretty easy, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was more of like a half day in my life because I did vlog a little bit later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed coming with me. Thank you guys so much for watching, for spending part of your day with me. I love you all, and I will see you all in my next video.